YouTubers, good morning. How art thou? It's good afternoon, actually. Got a bit of cloud in the sky, so it's going to be a bit cloudy today here in beautiful Merritt, British Columbia. Anyways, just here on my balcony, and I wanted to make a quick video for you guys. Um, remember, guys, voting, take precedence over voting today. Make it like a top priority, like paying rent or eating for the day. Uh, make it like uh, somebody is on life support and they need to see you type of thing. Like, make make top precedence of voting today, guys. It doesn't take that long. I'm all in red today, so you guys know where I'm Where I'm very supportive of the Republican uh, Party. And let's vote them all out, you know. So uh, even if you, like, even if you don't like to vote or whatnot, maybe go out and, and, and you know, Enjoy some fresh air, you know, do something. Go out and do something and then maybe stop by a voting center and, and, and cast your ballot. Anyways, guys, anyways, um, Lowe's closing down. Lowe's, 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 Lowe's closing down. 30-some-odd uh, locations. It's on the news. It's been on the news for two days now. Um, the reason why Lowe's is closing down locations is very simple. Is One, the it's not profitable and they're underperforming locations but i see they're underperforming not because it's because the middle class has no money to fix homes anymore they're so mortgaged broke that no one even tenants aren't fixing their units for for the uh landlords sorry landlords are in, are, aren't fixing their units for their tenants so you're going to start seeing uh, uh locations like lowe's in canada close you're going to start seeing locations like um home depot is going to follow suit I, I, I believe they are. I strongly believe they will because only because, and I'll be straight up frank with you guys, no one's going to be fixing homes anymore. The price of homes are dropping like a rock. Uh, instead of dumping 70 grand to fix a home uh, to fix a home or a fixer-upper, wait a little bit, and instead of dumping that 70 grand, you could get a house already fixed for 70000 less. So just wait around. It's, right, it's not a buyer's market, market yet. It's a falling market right now. Uh, I suggest to buy... Take a look at the summer of 2019 and see where, 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 where things are stabilized. I think they still won't stabilize in 2019. I think it's going to be 2020, midsummer, where things start to see the bottom and uh, stabilize. Because remember, when things are 16 times your income, people aren't buying properties. When things are 16 times someone's income, it's not going to, it's not going to work. You can never afford enough to put even a down payment on a property. But here's the problem now. Here's the problem we're facing. It's going to create a huge chain of events in all English-speaking countries. You're going to start to see all the home hardware, all the hardware-type stores start slowly closing their doors because people aren't just fixing properties and renovating properties anymore. You're going to start to see contractors go down, construction go down. You're going to start to see the companies and the contracting companies that actually make and fabricate the woods and make the, the doors and stuff start laying off. And then it's going to be a huge triggered effect, uh, triggering into a mass depression we are currently in a recession right now the numbers are showing it and anyone that tells you that we're not in a recession right now is lying to themselves we are headed towards a depression depressionary stage basically when people's furniture are out out on the sidewalk i don't want that to happen i do not want to see that happen but the amount of of a quantitative easing and the amount of uh a uh, low record, historically record low interest rates. It's all taking this mass domino effect. And I'm very interested in seeing where things are going to be headed soon, especially with the U.S. maybe going to raise rates six more times next year. What is going to happen with Canada? Australia can't raise rates. They already said, we can't raise rates. We're going to find other ways. They're going to have to raise rates if they're, if they're, if they're not going to, if they're not going to want to deal with a, this crushed Australian dollar. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Yeah, Lowe's, Lowe's uh, hardware store, big hardware chain here in Canada, closing 30 or 31 or 32 locations, underperforming locations. Why would they open them in the first place? Why? They open them in the first place because on a business level, you can see that there's a deal to be made there. And you can see that the areas that they've opened those specific locations were up and coming areas with new homes and subdivisions. But guess what? People can't afford them anymore. And then the people that, that did get into them and got swindled into buying property when they couldn't afford it can't fix the properties. 
So let's see what happens. There's no one fixing up homes now to sell and make a profit anymore because everything's everything's on a da uh, 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 headed downwards. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, don't forget to join me tomorrow for trends in the housing market. Huge updates, guys. Huge uh, interest rates uh, update. Huge updates. We're going to have some guests on the show. Hopefully, we can get Steve on the show, a couple other people on the show, maybe from Australia, to give us a little bit of insight and get some people from New Zealand on the show and, and, and United States and uh, Canada. You Unifying the English-speaking world under one great depression. Mike Martin's here. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below.